The African violet was chosen by the World Wildlife Fund as the symbol of plant conservation in East Africa, with good reason. It is a strikingly beautiful, instantly recognizable plant, and one that is desperately in need of protection. All species of St. Paulia grow in East Africa, and almost all are threatened. St. Paulia ionantha is by far the best known and the most important horticulturally. Those who have grown African violets may be surprised to learn that their home is in the wet rainforest of tropical East Africa. Yet in cultivation, plants quickly rot and die if water is allowed to gather beneath their root or on their fleshy leaves. The answer to this apparent paradox is that in the wild, St. Paulias grow on vertical cliff faces deep within the rainforest, and in this habitat, water can continually drain away from their leaves and roots. Destruction of this limited habitat is the main reason why so, so many St. Paulia species are threatened. When forests are cleared for much needed fuel wood, the cliffs is where the African violets grow, are exposed to sunlight which kills these shade-loving plants. The future looks bleak indeed for St. Paulia ionantha and many of the other wild African violets. Relatively few populations are currently within protected areas, and even within them, plants may be threatened by illegal overcollection and forest fires. A number of ex situ conservation projects, such as St. Paulia germplasm collections, have been initiated to preserve the species well into the future. The greatest long-term hope, however, probably lies in creating many more forest preserves, a process that is slowly being achieved. Only time will tell if the African bite has a future in the rainforest of Africa.